stood in front of an ELC machine. It's the first time I've actually seen this machine, so maybe you can talk, talk us through the process. Okay. Uh, ELC stands for EMAC laser cell. So EMAC laser cells are production laser welding machines. So if you look at a modern drivetrain for a vehicle, you see more and more laser welded components. What, why is that? We have a demand for more fuel efficient and environmental friendly cars. Mm -hmm. And that means you need to reduce vehicle weight. Lightweight design is a big point on the agenda. On one hand, and you have more and more functions like double clutch transmission, automatic transmissions and stuff like that. And uh, therefore, the weight of the components becomes more and more critical. And by joining parts together, it's uh, easy to, to create a very uh, efficient but lightweight transmission component, for example. And therefore, welding gets more and more space in automotive powertrain production. Yeah. When I've seen laser welding in the past, it tends to be only one axis, but this machine is different. This machine is different. This machine is designed for round parts, for typical powertrain components. And here, as a new feature of the ELC-160, we have a so-called Z and B axis. That means the machine is capable to do flexible, both radial axial welds or any angle in between. Yeah. And how accurate is the machine? Uh, that's the uh, most uh, surprising thing. If you, make, uh, if you look into the accuracy of the mechanical system, then you won't find a difference to a cutting machine. So everybody says, OK, welding machine. Uh, but that's history. We are doing precision components. We go really to the limits, try to make very slim joints to reduce distortion and heat input. And therefore, you have absolutely the accuracy of a turning machine or a cutting machine. So we are talking about microns. So typically, when there's changeovers, we have to take it away and inspect components, and we have to destruct you know, yeah. destructive testing. How do you overcome this issue? <laughs> this is a patented feature of our ELC machine. We have the ability, you just saw that cycle, the machine is able to do an automatic changeover. So if you, it means you can tool up the machine for different applications, different parts, and the changeover is simply done by changing the CNC program, but there is no manual intervention to change fixtures or so. And therefore there is no need for destructive testing, which is a common procedure after manual changeover. We avoid that and especially if you run smaller batches, smaller volumes, you gain your productivity by avoiding these downtimes when the machine is waiting, in fact, for the test results. Sure, and I see this particular machine has got a Siemens control. Yeah. So one would presume it's easy to control, very conversational. I mean, the, the Siemens is an industry standard in the manufacturing industry mm -hmm. and we use uh, Siemens because it gives us the technological features that are required beside controlling the movements. You need to control the laser power. Sometimes you, you are doing uh, upslopes, downslopes, where you have to uh, link the laser power to the axis movement. And this controller gives you all the, the has the features that you need to do that. Yeah. And EMAG, you're very good at making production lines, bolting machines onto each other. Is that something you can do with this machine? Absolutely. So 160, we have, I would say, I would say we have no installation with a standalone machine. It's typically a building block of a production system. Can be a welding only, but then you have a washing operation, you may have some assembly, you may have some testing afterwards, and the ELC is always somehow integrated in a cell. Or but, in a big but the important thing is EMAG look after the installation, they look after the whole process. It starts far uh, before selling. We have a big application lab here in Germany. We have another one in, in North America, in Michigan. And we have a third one in China. And we proactive support our customers in developing parts, making prototypes. And then we go through the project. And of course, we do uh, the after sales service and repair service, technology service. And this in every, let's say, automotive country. Thank you very much. You're most welcome. Thank you.